In a small island with large military bases, the relationship between soldiers and islanders can't help but be close. Most families, like Renito Olatans, have someone who's served with the military or works for them. You cannot support your family. You can't even put uh, food on the table if you don't have a job. That's why for me, I'm a very pro uh, of the military buildup. That will benefit for all of us. Thousands of extra Marines will be stationed in a new base. They're being moved from the Japanese island of Okinawa, where their presence has caused tensions with the local community. According to Guam's member of Congress, there are no such problems here. Every poll that's been taken here in Guam, there's about anywhere from 75 to 80 percent that want the military here. And now more so than ever after this last episode. But the plan will also mean this wildlife sanctuary will be partially closed to allow for a new firing range on top of these cliffs. A pristine area, it's where the Chamorro people who first settled in Guam several thousand years ago built their homes and their burial grounds. All along this stretch of coastline, you find evidence of where the first Chamorro settlers lived, fished and died. The US military says it will treat this area sensitively, preserving artifacts. But it has to balance that with the need to train the thousands of Marines who'll be based here. Among groups fighting the plan are families who were displaced from the area generations ago by the military and who are still trying to claim back their ancestral lands. It's at the point where my mom, my aunties, my uncles, they're tired. They're tired of this fight. You know, we're wondering, is there ever going to be a chance that it will be returned to us? An island paradise feeling ever squeezed by international events very far from its shores. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Guam.